So here is a quick introduction to the lumbar plexus. First you want to do is you want to draw four lines, each one getting successfully longer than the previous one. So we have our first one, second, third, and fourth. Then we do want a fifth one that we want it to be slightly longer than our third line. Okay? So this gives us T12, L1, L2, L3, and L4. Now we want to start getting the connecting branches between all of these nerves. First you want to do is connect T12 to L1, then draw a superior branch off of L1, which will break up into an arrow connecting to the iliohypogastric and the ilioinguinal nerves. Next, draw an arrow down from L1 halfway, and another line from L2 connecting to that. And that is going to create the genitofemoral branch. L2 is the lateral cutaneous branch. And L2 is going to connect to L3 with an anterior and a posterior branch, like in the brachial plexus. Anterior branch is here. Posterior branch goes like this. And next thing is down the femoral L3. We have two branches that both go to the iliacus. And L4 is then going to connect with femoral. And you wanted this to be longer than L2, but you want it to um, stop before the first iliacus division because L4 is going to connect prior to that first iliacus division. Another thing is that L4 is going to branch off to the lumbosacral, and that's going to be our connection to the sacral plexus. And L2, L3, and L4 all have a common nerve, which is the obturator nerve. The obturator nerve is more anterior to the plexus than all these other nerves. Okay, so the muscles that these nerves are all serving are going to be the iliohypogastric serves the rectus abdominis and the transverse abdominis, and the internal and external obliques. Ilioinguinal, exactly the same set of muscles. The only difference is these both have different cutaneous innervations. The genitofemoral is a cutaneous innervating nerve, except in males where it controls the cremasteric muscle. Lateral cutaneous is a cutaneous nerve. Iliacus, both of these are for the iliacus muscle. Femoral nerve is going to be iliacus, pectineus, sartorius, and your quadriceps muscles. Finally, the obturator is going to be the obturator externus, pectineus, and all of your adductor muscles, the longus, brevis, and magnus. And this branch off of L4, the lumbosacral nerve, is our connection into the sacral plexus. If you want to know the dermatomal innervations of any of these nerves and the muscles that they serve, all you have to do is follow the flow of any of these branches. Lateral cutaneous is going to be L2. Just follow L2 and L3. So lateral cutaneous is going to be L2, L3, because L3 can flow up there, L2 can flow up there. Femoral nerve, we can follow L2 along this connecting track to the femoral nerve, L3 and L4. So femoral uh, dermatomal innervation is going to be L2, L3, L4. Same thing with iliohypogastric, ilioinguinal. Those are just L1. Okay, that's it.